Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Eon Chikino, and we got a game here on Shakira's Plateau between uh, ATN Sock and Mao's Straylock. Kinda rhymes, doesn't it? But anyway, it is a uh, Protoss versus Terran. We have cross-map spawning positions. This is the MLG version of the map. And uh, we're gonna have a TVP here. Blue versus light blue. And this is a best of three. This is game number one for an event called BDL. I think that's the name of it. BDL. Uh, yes, it is BDL. Uh, not quite sure what that stands for. I've never heard of it before. Might be something new. But anyways, uh, let's see what we've got going on so far. We're going to have a wall off here from Straylock at the front of his base, which uh, is kind of turning into standard play for Terran players. Uh... It kind of is going in and out of fashion, walling off against Protoss players uh, uh, as a Terran player, but I don't seem to uh, swing in back into things. The very beginning of beta, I remember almost everybody did it, and it seems like uh, nowadays, uh, then it kind of fell off, and then nobody did it, and now it's like everybody's doing it again. <laughs> so we got a barracks being placed over here on the right side, and what do we got here? A gateway going in for Straylock, so uh, no. Uh, insane or really risky builds like Nexus first or Command Center first. Just playing it pretty safe so far and we'll see what kind of deviations we got coming up. So we got Sock going for his gas, so uh, pretty basic opening from him. We have gas going up for Straylock, so pretty standard play here from both players. <clears throat> and we have the first scout coming from Sock. He's going to scout his opponent and is going to know exactly where he's at. He's going to come down here and scout him out, come up to the front of the ramp and He's not going to see much. He's going to be uh, scared away as soon as that Marine comes out. And he's got quickly putting three guys on gas. Now, we'll see here if Sock goes for a gas steal. Um, a lot of options here to go for a gas steal against a Terran player. If you anticipate some type of tech play and you want to go for a uh, fast expansion play off one barracks, um, just to slow down Banshees or something like that, uh, I, I like a gas steal every once in a while, uh, a PVT. But we do have that first Marine out, and that probe is going to be forced to fall back, and he is out of there. And we got this SCV coming up over here, top, getting up into the base, and he's going to be coming up to the top of the ramp. That Zelt's going to be coming out here pretty soon, sneaking over here to the left, going to throw down a pylon. And we're going to have that uh, no second gas yet, and this Cybernex score is just about finished, so that's leaving me to believe Sok is going to go for a expansion. Now we have a Reaper coming out uh, here from Straylock. Now, if Straylock is going to go for a Reaper expand, uh, that is definitely the possibility. You know, most Terran players get the one Reaper, and he's pulling an SCV over here to make an expansion. There he is. He's going to go for a Reaper expand. But one thing, I think I said this before in another commentary, but it would be hilarious if a uh, Terran player makes a Reaper to scout with, and then the Protoss player just instantly thinks that he's expanding because that's such a common build, and then he just follows it up with three barracks and uh, it kills him. <laughs> but. Uh, we still got no buildings left and no gas left yet, or no gas being started yet. Second gas for a sock, and it looks like this probe is on his way out. Is he going to make a nexus? I'm kind of thinking he is. He's got his uh, first sell it out, and he's kind of just running around here, buying time until the soccer shows up. And this, uh, he really wants to use this Reaper uh, for scouting, if at all possible. But he, I mean, the, the Reaper is no good at all versus a stalker. So uh, in this situation, he's just going to kind of hang out at home. We have an SCV. Or in the middle has the vision of that Zelnaga tower and um, he's seen both those units run back so he knows he's safe for the time being and the quickly this SCV is going to, oh that's kind of odd, uh, it's going to run straight up into there, a little bit of a mistake but there we have the Nexus going up for Sock and Sock is just about going to be on, uh, there is a second gas, I was wondering he was going to go with that, there goes the second gas and he's kind of boosting up those, uh, finishing up that work base going for a robotics bay, so <clears throat> a definitely a economic and tech centered build here for Sock. And we got a lot of barracks being produced for Straylock, so uh, he. I think we're going to see Straylock go for a, a timing attack at first. I think he's going to be the first one to strike with an attack, uh, just based on the builds of both players. Sock is basically going for economy and tech at the same time. Only has like one production building up. Finally, starting the second gateway, but now he is ahead in the supply count, 38 versus 34. Doing a good job over here on the right, guarding that uh, with that stalker, keeping an eye, make sure there's no reapers over there. And uh, I don't know where that Reaper did go. Maybe he, maybe he killed it already. I think, yep. Yeah, the Reaper is dead. This soccer in here probably got the kill. He's probably sneak up here in the bottom when I was looking at the top. But that Reaper is dead. And we can check to see what kind of vision Straylock actually saw from there. So he did scout out the expansion. So that was, he scouted it before it finished. 
Uh, so that expansion has been scouted. He's aware of that. And uh, more supply depots being built up there at the front of the bases. Pseudo wall. And he's researching stem and reactor and reactor coming out. So a lot of Marines going to be coming with stem. Maybe transitioning into some type of tanks. Uh, or actually just going straight to starport. So we may see uh, a swap here and put a reactor on this starport and make some either medevacs or uh, Vikings coming out, depending on what he uh, actually ends up seeing here. So we do have the robotics facility out, but it doesn't look like he's going to make any uh, robo or any uh, robo actually attacking units with that so far, just making observers. He's got one out already, and this is going to be the second one. So Sock definitely going to have more than enough vision of the map. That's going to help him play a very defensive, maybe make some smart positioning moves here. And I thought I saw something blue on the map over here. Uh, something on the mini-map looks really dark right there. I don't know what that is, but that's kind of odd looking. But anyways, uh, we do have a Strelok with quite a few units out here in the front of his base. We can check the army tab, or unit tab, 10 marines, 4 marauders versus uh, 3 sentries, 2 stalkers, 2 zealots. So uh, Strelok, I'm surprised he really hasn't went in for an attack. Uh, maybe he's waiting for these medevacs to finish, and then he's going to go in for an attack, because right now his army is pretty good. I mean, we can check the spending there. So the Protoss player is uh, even in spending, but I think as far as composition-wise, I think that Terran player, as soon as those 2 medevacs get out, can do a drop in his main, and then push up the middle or up the ramp at the same time, force them to use some sentries, force fields, and they just pick up in a medevac and drop over there and kill those sentries. So he may be going for that type of play, but he's building a bunker, so this Straylock is playing very defensive right now. And I really think uh, he has the option of playing aggressive. So now he's going to swap over and make a reactor here and then swap this back over. So he's going to still pump mostly Marines. Combat shields are just about finished, so it looks like he's going to wait for these combat shields to finish and time that with his attack. And this is still going to be a very devastating attack, I think. Uh, so, plus one on the way here for the damage uh, for uh, Bio, uh, for Straylock being researched. And uh, Sock still producing uh, quite a few uh, probes coming out there. And we have a robotics bay also on the way. But do we have a medevac? Yeah, it is. Here we go. We've got a drop coming on the top. Uh, drop coming sort of here on the bottom. And then an army pushing up to the middle. So he's going to be all over the place at the same time. Now we're going to see how much damage he's going to be able to do with these drops. Try and watch him all at the same time. Sock going to have most of his army here at the middle. He's really not anticipating this. He's going to drop over here on the left. He's going to force to pull that back, but he needs to get out of there. He's going to lose that medevac. That's going to be a lot of damage. Forced to fall back, losing a marine there. And now he's dropping here in the main, but Sock with already four stalkers. He's going to pick off that medevac. Nice job stimming. He's going to have to pull some more uh, units, warp in some units if he wants to deal with that. He just does not have enough stalkers. There we go. Two zealots warping in. That should be enough. And it looks like he's going to hold this off. Not too much damage. Sock did an excellent job defending that attack. And uh, I thought that was just going to go horribly bad for him, but Sock was, he was on top of that. He just had more than enough stalkers here, four, just waiting there. Gonna, he focuses down that medevac to kill any units before they fall out. That was a great job. We have Straylock coming over here scouting to make sure there's make sure there's no hidden third. Uh, that would be really easy for him to take out at this point, but he's going to run a Marine down here. And this observer notices that retreating army here through the middle, so uh, Sock is feeling pretty confident. It looks like he's going to push out. So we got uh, more stalkers coming out. And uh, how many warp gates is he up to? Just uh, five warp gates so far, plus one on the way. And he's got Colossus, Extended Thermal Lances coming out, and the first Colossus also being built. And uh, Sock is maybe just going to pressure. I don't know how aggressive he's going to play, but we have a drop coming from Straylock through the top of the map. This observer is probably going to see it. He's got just great vision here. He's going to take out that Marine, and he is going to see that. Uh, I'm pretty sure he had to have seen that. Yeah, he does. He sees it. He pulls the observer back, and you can see the uh, he's running up here to the Cell Naga Tower to get vision of that. And I think he's going to be safe. He's warping it. Yeah, he sees it easily. He's warping in more stalkers here to his main. A scan coming out from Straylock, so he sees this. He sees <laughs> he sees the rally Colossus up here. So I don't, I'm going to be surprised if he actually goes for this drop anyway. And he's even warping in some pylons here just to kind of muck up the uh, placement here. And the drop is going to go down at the same time. Attack up the front. No, pulling SUVs to the front just in case. This drop is going to do a lot of... Nope, not a lot of damage at all. It's going to be completely destroyed. And he's going to fight that off and then push up through the middle. Uh... Really, there's really no reason for Sock to push up unless he wants to kill him, but uh, he's got this Colossus back at his main two back here, and that's really what he's going to need to break the front of this base if he wants to stick on two base, but uh, considering he just put up an expansion, there's really no reason for Sock to uh, break the front of that ramp. He can pretty much just contain his opponent to two base, get up on three and four, get some nice tech, get some DTs, storms out, and just play a nice smooth game and uh, slowly kill Straylock over time. We do have the third floating up here to the right. And it's going to make his way to the third. And we'll see if he transforms that into a planetary or just a regular orbital. We'll see. Do we have Vikings now coming out? And even some ghosts. So uh, Straylock getting his fair share of tech. 
Vikings, Colossus, or uh, Vikings dealing with the Colossus, and Ghost to deal EMP to this uh, very large Warp Gate army so far he's got. We can check the supply. 139 versus 139. Supply is exactly close there. And uh, Observer here in the base. We have great vision of this. Look at this. got one Observer here at the top, one Observer here at the bottom. And uh, Sock playing extremely smooth and safe this game. He sees the scout coming here in the middle. He's going to be able to pick that off. And it uh, looks like uh, we're going to see Sock go for an attack here. He's got the two Colossus out. And uh, the third one on the way. More Zealots also coming up. He doesn't have charge yet, but he is making a Twilight Council. That's going to allow him to do get blink or charge if he feels like it. We have a lot of ghosts here in the middle of the map. we got five there, so more than enough to lay down some serious EMP. And uh, Sock is going to have to split up his army if he wants to deal with this. But he's got no units here in the middle. He's going to snipe some Vikings. Oh, there we go. And <laughs> very good job. And he took out, what was that, two Vikings for nothing. And he's, what was that? Oh, he did a scan to kill the uh, Observer. Uh... Not sure why he wasted a scan for that. I think it would have been better to use an EMP because he's got so many EMPs at this point and he only has two orbitals and he's kind of low on money. So I think it may have been better to go for an EMP there uh, just considering he has so many ghosts lined up and he's throwing down some missile turrets. That's going to uh, easily deal with any observers coming his way and also deal with Colossus uh, if they decide to push in just a little bit more uh, defense to get in the way there because he's so really low on his anti-Colossus army here because he lost those Vikings. He's trying to rebuild them. Uh, he's got four coming out at a time. He's got two uh, starports, both are three reactors, pumping out some serious numbers of Vikings. And Sokka looks like, is he going to go for an attack or just chill out? Supply is very, very close, and these EMPs are going to make or break this game, I think. And he's got his sentries very close caught up there. But there we go. Good EMPs. Force fields are going to get down, though. That was a pretty decent EMP, but it missed... Uh, I think it got one or two of those uh, Colossus, but wow, those ghosts are just dying up there in the front. Marauders here at the bottom. Some decent EMPs, uh, not too many shields up, but this army is just getting slaughtered. Those Colossus in the back are not dying at all. And those Vikings showed up a little too late to the party there, and Zolt at the front just tanking all that. And this is so bad for Sock right now. You can see the supply, 131 versus 150, uh, 115, and he's going to wrap that up. And now Sock is going to be easily be able to take up this third base here. But this is a planetary fortress. He's got a lot of SCVs up here to repair that with if he decides to attack, but... Oh, uh, we may see Sok just pull back and... Oh, no, he forgot two Colossus. There you go, group back up. We may see Sok uh, maybe go for another warp in before uh, going in for an attack. No, he's going to go right now. He does have this observer down here. He's moving even closer to his opponent's base just to make sure uh, he's got that little leeway of time there. So if his opponent does attack from the south, he's ready and uh, going to be able to do it. So he sees it coming right now, and he's going to back up. Looks like he is warping in units with a warp prism. Oh, I love this play. Warp prism on the fly, warping zealous, and he's going to come down here and get a really good flank on his opponent, and he's going to have a great concave on these marauders. Force field's going to go down, actually just one force field, and those marauders are going to kite away from that fight. Didn't lose too many forces there, kind of saved, uh, bought some time for this planetary fortress to mine a little bit more and build up that viking count. Uh, DT shrine on the way, charge being researched, plus two, just about finished, and he's going to have to repair like crazy to save this thing. There he goes, he's now going to get back on the repair. But uh, is it going to be enough? Those Colossus are probably going to try to focus down and kill all those SCVs. It's so easy to kill SCVs when they're repairing all lined up like that. Yes, he does. He drops that Planetary Fortress. And now Straylock is coming in for an attack. I don't really think this is a smart move to go for an attack now. Not really much to save up there except for a couple SCVs. Blinks down right off the Marauders. He has just so many Stalkers now. Plus two attack one armor versus plus two attack four bio uh, here from Straylock. So he's not too far behind in upgrades, but he is behind in supply at this point. You can check the Harvester count, 66 versus 57, two base, soon be four base, and we have a drop over here on the left, so uh, trying to buy some time, canceling that out, there's just not enough at home to defend this, he's going to wish he had a plenty of fortress here very soon, but he's going to come here with some Marauders, warping up some Stalkers and Zealots to defend this, he's really going to need some DTs, but there's a big force pushing, falling back, pulling his units up to the top of the ramp, now coming back down, a lot of Zealots up there in the front, four still blocking the ramp, and all those Marauders are just going to instantly disappear there. And it looks like this army is going to die too. Medivacs are completely out. Now we have the GG from Straylock. That was a very good game. And it kind of went down here from Straylock after that first drop got pretty much shut down. Uh, Sock was like in position, ready for it, and did almost absolutely nothing uh, to Sock. And he just got his Colossus up, came for a really good strong attack there. Uh, Ghost died a little bit too fast. They're kind of out of position. Some decent EMPs. I don't, they probably could have got better. Um, get the EMPs down before the force fields were thrown may help him out in that second fight but he also just didn't have enough Vikings out to deal with the Colossus at that point in the game so I hope you guys enjoyed this this is game number one between Sock and Straylock and we're going to move on to game number two next